I now want to look at how we can secure our devices with the help of what is called a security baseline. Now, security baselines, uh, this is a term that has been around for decades in the cybersecurity world. And the idea of a security baseline is to make sure that a machine has a certain base level of security on it before it's allowed to operate in our environment. Now, we, uh, we have compliance policies, which are very helpful. And we can use conditional access policies to uh, enforce and make sure that somebody can't connect. But um, a security baseline is something that we can deploy that guarantees that certain settings are going to be in place on a machine. If those settings aren't in place on the machine, security baseline is going to enforce those settings on the machine. Okay. So I want to show you how we can do that. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Windows uh, machine here and I'm gonna disable my firewall so that we can look at what would happen if the firewall is disabled and I was requiring that as a security baseline. So if I go start, if I go to settings, and we will go to, um, let's go to privacy and security. Machine's being a little bit sluggish here. Uh, Windows security and then we'll go right here to the firewall and network protection okay from there we have our different profiles and I'm just gonna switch the uh, firewall off okay which of course Windows is gonna be very unhappy about this because it wants that firewall to be turned on for all of my uh, network profiles but we're gonna turn that off All right. But you can do that through control panel as well but at this point my firewall is now off and so let's just verify back over here to settings okay and privacy and security windows security firewall is not on all right so we're good to go there let's jump back over into endpoint.microsoft.com and we'll click the devices blade here uh, I'm sorry, in the endpoint, we're going to click the endpoint security blade here. And then when we click on endpoint security, we're going to see a blade called security baselines. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And Microsoft has certain baselines that are available. The one we would want to look at would be the security baseline for Windows 10 and later in this case. So we're going to click next. We're going to click to create a profile. And I'm going to say enforce firewall on Windows. All right. So from there, we'll click Next. Okay, now this is where I got to warn you. Um, Microsoft has all of these settings that they recommend that you turn on. And you really need to, to think about, okay, do I need all of these settings? And um, set the ones that you don't need to not configure. For example, I may not want this above lock. If you don't know what some of these are, you can always click on the eye symbol. It'll tell you what they are. Okay, so in my case, I set not, to con not configured on that. Um, app runtime, Microsoft account optional for app runtime not configured. Um, you know, application manager not configured, not configured. Okay, and I am going to pause the recording so you don't have to see me go through and do all of these, and we'll look at the one that we do need. So I'm going to set, set these to not configured right now. All right, now that took about 10 minutes. There's quite a few settings to go through. Um, Ultimately, though, if you wanted just to try throwing out the default in a, on a lab computer, you could, but I just wanted to be very specific about what I want, in this case, just the firewall. So the firewall options here, it's talking about um, you know, what you want to block and all that. Uh, I'm not going to necessarily forcibly block any uh, inbound connections or outbound connections. Uh, in the real world, I might, but um, I'm just going to I want to configure this the way I want to configure it. So I'm going to go ahead and set that for all three of those. Main thing I want to do is just make sure the firewall is on. Um, it is enabled, so the firewall is enabled. And connection security rules from group policy, not configured, not configured. Okay. So we've made sure basically that um, at this point, the firewall should be turned on by setting up these configurations. All right. Uh, now, this is not really focused on uh, security here. I definitely recommend that in a high security environment you educate yourself on some of these different settings. Don't forget there's a little symbol I here you can go through and uh, it'll help you. 
but uh, help you understand it. So from there, we're going to click next. We're not going to mess with any scope tags. We're going to go to assignments and we would add our devices, right? So which devices do we want to apply this to? In my case, I'm going to say all devices. Um, and then I'm going to click next and then I'm going to click create. Now there's a catch to all this, like some of the other stuff we perform, we utilize in Microsoft um, Intune, it can take up to 24 hours before a security baseline takes effect. So of course you can, um, you know, go over to your device and you can tell it to check in whichever, you know, lab device you're playing around with. Um, another option would be to go to the device itself and we can go start, we can go to settings, and we can tell it to uh, sync, force it to sync from the device. And how do we do that? If we go over here to accounts, click on access work or school in this case, drop this down, we'll go right here where it says manage by exam line practice info, scroll down, and we can click to sync. All right. Um, if it's gives you this could not sync uh, in process or uh, if the sync first says it can't just try it again another option is to do a reboot all right once that's done um, maybe we'll get lucky and it already has happened sometimes it is a, it will have especially if it was just a small one setting that you uh, applied so let's go back over now to um, let's go to privacy and security Let's click on Windows Security. Aha, and look at there, the firewall is now turned on. So everything is back to the way it should have been. Uh, my firewall is turned on. Now I want you to notice also that this off button is no longer available. I cannot turn this off. And the reason is because of course, we have a baseline that has been applied. Right, and that baseline is making sure that um, that setting stays on, right? So that's the idea. All right, so very neat little uh, feature. It's just you really kind of have to think about the settings you want and uh, play around with it. I highly recommend having a little lab environment, playing around with things a bit, and um, you know, making sure that we've got things the way we want. Deploy the um, baseline out to these to a lab machine see how it all works out for you and then uh, at that point deploy it out to your production but hopefully that uh, helps you now understand the concept of security baselines with the help of Intune